do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now Holson Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great game tutorial today for the PS3, for your CFW PS3. I'm going to show you how to play PS2 games on your PS3 and using the Rebug firmware. I'm using the latest version, which is 4.70.1. And we want to use this version because it fixes the wireless pad sync. If you don't know that issue, basically bottom line is... In previous versions, if you try to play your PS2 games on your PS3, you have to have your PS3 controller connected to your PS3 using USB. We don't have to do that anymore based upon today's process that I'm going to show you. And I've seen a lot of tutorials. I tried to do some things. Some things worked. Some didn't. And um, I'm going to try my best here to walk you through the process of how I personally got this to work on my system after a while of troubleshooting. And now, let the good times roll. So, if you go to the more info section, I got a link where you can get the latest firmware version of the Rebug. Also, you, there's a zip file of my package files that I used for uh, that we're going to install today. And let me show you how this works. Okay, so plug in your USB thumb drive that has the zip file extracted to the root of your thumb drive, FAT32. We're going to go to the game section here. And I'm using Rebug firmware, like I said. You go to Package Manager, go to Install Package Files, and then Package Directory from Storage Device. Uh, sorry, go to standard. And then here is my USB thumb drive. So there's three files here. First one is it's always good to install the Rebug Toolbox. You may have it installed already. If not, I'll go ahead and install it. So I'm going to reinstall it here for clarity's sake. So that's the full version. Great. Also, what we're going to do is go back to my thumb drive here, install package files, standard. And we're going to install the PS2 launcher for the Rebug. I already got it installed, but I'll reinstall it again. And then one more time, we're going to go ahead and install the React PSN. I already got it installed, but let me just reinstall over it. Okay, great. And then before I forget, um, okay, we'll talk about it later. There's, there's a lot of details, but trust me, by the time we get done with this video, you're going to be a PS2 master on the PS3. Now, let's go to create new user. We're going to make a new username. Press square, delete all this stuff. The username is AA, lowercase, and we're good to go. All right. Make sure there's no spaces or anything. It's just AA, no spaces, no enter. Now press X. Now we'll go ahead, log into that username. So now we're going to log into that username. Great. Now once you're done with that, go to the game section and scroll down to the React PSN, press X, and run it. So when you got my zip file, when you extract the contents of that zip file to your USB thumb drive, there's going to be a folder called X Data. Basically, that has like the special license key, I guess, for the PS2 Classics and for making this whole process work. So, once you run the React PSN, it's going to restart your PS3, like so. And then momentarily, we'll be back at the main menu here. Excellent. And what we'll notice is the username. Oh, um, also, this may come up. So, let's go ahead. If you get this, by all means, go ahead and press OK. And... Um, it's going to check the file system. I totally forgot about that. So if you don't see it, great. If you do see it, it's not an issue. Go ahead. Continue with the process. This is going to be like another, I don't know, 5, 10 minutes, something like that. Um, we'll see how, how it goes. So here's the checking and restoring the file system. Do not turn off the system. Let it do its thing. So to help save some time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video now, and then I will recontinue once the progress bar has reached 100%. And we will continue with the good times. Trust me, it's worth it. Let's do this. All right. The process is done. So that's like um, one-third of the process, basically. Okay, so let's go to uh, log into your main account. Oh, I forgot to note. Did you see that, guys? The AA has changed to his React and this part of the file name may change. It's going to be different depending on your, P on your PS3. But go ahead, log into your main user account. Now what we're going to do is, other tutorials don't really talk about this. I'm going to talk about it because I saw it save me a lot of time and to help with my troubleshooting purposes. So if you go here, go to your Rebug Toolbox. And let me just show you my Rebug settings real quick here. And there's no way that you're going to fail because these settings work for me. Okay? That's like the recipe for success. All right, so we go to a selector here. System mode, rebug, XMB, debug, debug menu type. Mine is on CEXQA. I have a CEX console if you guys are interested. Cobra mode, enabled. 
toggle PS2 emulator, original, toggle webman, make sure it's enabled. So all the settings I said, make sure your settings match that. And then go ahead and go to restart system, just to be safe. I'm going to say a full. You could probably do a quit, but if you change your settings, uh, it's probably better to be better safe than sorry and save yourself a possible troubleshooting step. So go ahead and just do a full restart. It couldn't hurt. And if there's a PlayStation 3 Pro out there that says, hey, Versatile, you could just click on quit and go back to X and B, I'll take it. By all means, it's just going to save you like a couple seconds. So I'm okay with that. Okay, so we're going to be back at the X and B main screen here. Screen here. And I'm going to log into my uh, Versatile account. And at this point, um, there's so many different things we could do. I'm going to talk about this one particular step so then we don't forget it. And you don't have to do this one time. Other tutorials may talk about it at a different time, but let's just do it right now. So if you hold your R2, Select, and Triangle, look in the top right-hand corner. There's going to be something called a PS2 Classic for Webman. We see that PS2 Classic is disabled. So go ahead, R2, Select, Triangle. Keep on pressing it until it says PS2 Classic enabled. You only have to do it one time. And then we can just forget about it. I think it just sort of helps with the webman with the PS2 Classics. I haven't really spent that much time troubleshooting with it, but it does not hurt to leave it on. And let's, that's it for that. All right, great. So now let's go to Multiman. And this is the longest part of the process, but trust me, it's worth it. And I'll show you how to do like multiple games so you can play multiple games on your PS3. Right now I have two PS2 games on my PS3. I'm going to add a third one today. And that's going to be a twist of metal black. And I'll show you that process, how that works. So at this point in time, go ahead and put in your PS2 game into your PS3. So I'm going to put in my disc here into the PS3. And this is important. Just so you guys know, this is MMCM. That makes a big difference. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. So insert your game disc. Now go to the game section. Here press triangle and go to create ISO. Press X. Tell it to create an ISO on the PS3 hard drive, press X, and then you're good to go. This particular game, because it's like 3 gigs or whatever, it's going to be about, I don't know, like 15 minutes, something like that. Um, just so you guys know, yeah, you could, technically speaking, uh, rip your PS2 games on your PC, transfer it to a USB, and then using the Multiman um, File Manager program, you could copy that ISO into your... Um, hard drive zero slash uh, PS2 ISO game directory. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you don't want to do that, then the easier method is just use your PS3 to rip your PS2 game disc directly from the disc, the CD disc, to your PS3 hard drive. But if you guys want to learn more about how to do that other process, like rip the PS2 game onto a PC, use a USB file, a thumb drive, transfer to the PS3, and then continue with the process, leave a comment, and I will definitely make a follow-up tutorial if there is demand for that. So right now, uh, the PS3 is in process of creating the ISO image. This is going to take a while, guys. It's going to take a while on your end, too. So at this point in time, I suggest you guys uh, take a coffee break, make a sandwich, maybe you know play some uh, YouTube videos in the background on your phone or something, and then come back, and we'll uh, have a lot of more good times. So I'm going to pause the video. Once this copy process has finished, I will resume, and we're almost done. We're like 50% of the way there, and it's not that hard. And I'll talk about how to add more games as the video gets closer to the end. And by the end of today's video, you are going to be like a PS2 master and a PS3. And I wish I had a tutorial to teach me all this, but the tutorials on YouTube right now do not go in much detail as I am going in today. So be very thankful, and uh, um, it's great that you have a modded PS3 if you do. So hang tight. Let's do this. All right, we are back. The game's copied. Took about 8 minutes, 52 seconds. To make it easy, I'm going to eject the game disc right now. I suggest you do the same so we don't have any confusion later on on what is the PS2, di a PS2 disc or is this the image on the hard drive or whatever. All right, so press X. Now, what we're going to do is go to the left here, MMCM. Go down here to switch to multi-man mode. So go ahead, press X, and switch it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the new mode to convert your PS2 game into PS2 Classic. So if you go to the retro column here, go up to the top, press refresh. 
I got multiple games on my hard drive right now. These uh, games are converted, Area 51 and Twipe Out Fusion. But Twisted Metal Black, here's the latest game I just added to my library for this video tutorial. And go ahead and press X on it. It's going to say, do you want to convert the selected PlayStation 2 disc image to PS2 Classic format? So go to yes, press X, and now, yes, you guessed it, another progress bar. This time it's encrypting. So it's going to take about uh, supposedly 10 minutes or less. So just like last time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. Once the video, uh, once the encryption is done, I'll resume the video, and we're like 90% of the way there right now, guys. So after the encryption is done, let me give you a heads up. So once the encryption is done, we're going to go back to the XMB menu. We're going to go to Webman mod we're going to refresh the xml game list and then we're going to load our game using a usb cable for the first game only make sure we have a great sync and then we're going to use the placeholder the ps2 classic placeholder from rebug load the game and have a lot of good times um, also if you know how to make a memory card you should probably do that too i already did it but i'll walk you through the process real quick or i can make a separate video tutorial in the future specific to that topic and that's that in a nutshell so if that didn't make sense don't worry, we'll recontinue re right after the break, so let's do this. Alright, so the encryption process is complete. Once it is done, it will automatically restart and go back to Multiman. So, here's something, here's a trick that I discovered myself, excuse me, and I'm going to share with you guys too. So, let's go to back to here, let's go to the file manager, and go ahead, go into the file manager here. Let's go to dev hdd0, uh, press circle, sorry, x, go down. Let me move this up here. Let's go to PS2 ISO, press X. And this right here is tough to see, but this is the original Twisted Metal Black game that I just ripped. And here, when you do the conversion with Multiman, it's going to make this folder here. So to make things easy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Q file, the ISO file, and the JPEG file. It just really doesn't do anything for me. I'm going to press circle, and I'm going to delete these guys. Okay. Now we go into the PS2 Classic folder, so press um, X on that. Here, press X, highlight the file, press circle, go down to cut. Now let's go up to the parent folder and paste it here. So press circle and paste it. Press X, now press X again to paste it and say yes on that prompt. So basically what we're doing, if you didn't understand that, is we're taking the PS2 Classic ISO, we're taking it out of the folder, and put in the root here. And if you want, let's go ahead and delete this folder just to make things nice and clean. Okay, now here's the painful part. To make things easy to find your games later on, I recommend you rename your game. So press X, circle, rename. Now this is where it's useful if you had like a Bluetooth keyboard, which I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename my game real quick here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead, if you're curious, here's my uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename this. Just only rename the first half, the ISO part. Don't mess around with the .bin or .enc. I think the PS3 program needs it. So let's just call it, um, let's do um, twisted, I'm typing with one hand here, and then metal black. Or whatever your game is. Just call it whatever. Press enter. We're good to go. Don't need the keyboard anymore. Okay. We're just about ready to play this game finally. So what we're going to do is let's go back. Press um, R1, for example. And let's just quit the program. Quit it. Quit multi-man. And we're like in the home stretch, baby. We're almost there. There's going to be a lot of good times. So once we're back at the X... XMB screen, the main screen here. Now what we're going to do is go to uh, Webman Games and go into Webman Setup. Press X. And what we're going to do is basically tell Webman, every time you add a new game in the future and do your conversion like I did and added the game out of the PS2 folder and after you rename the game, always refresh XML every time you add a new game. So I'm going to go here, go to XML, refresh XML, press X, refresh, great. Click here to restart the PS3. And now we're almost there. Now I'm going to show you how to actually play your PS2 game. And um, there's a trick uh, I'm going to talk about. And I think you only have to do it the first time. I've played around my PS3 so many times, I 
don't know if I need to do it anymore. But for your case, if you're brand new to this, it's better to say than be sorry and just do what I'm going to show you in a second here. So here we are. We're going to log into my main account. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, the game section, scroll up to Webman Games, press X, go to PlayStation 2, press X, and we see that I have some games already copied from before. Twisted Metal Black is my latest game. I'm going to press X on this icon here. Webman is going to come up. It's going to say, do you want to close the browser? Click yes. And then we're good to go. Um, hopefully it didn't freeze on me. Great, excellent. Now here's the trick. For the very first time, for your very, very, very first PS2 game, tutorials that I've seen says you got to make sure you have a strong sync. What the hell does that mean? Okay, so strong sync, what that means to me is get your USB cable. So here's my uh, USB cable here connected to your PS3 controller. You only need this for the first time, guys. Now go ahead, go to PS2 Classic Launcher, and let's launch the launcher, basically. And it's going to go ahead, and it's going to play my game that I just mounted through Webman. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Just so you guys know, I already have a PS2 memory card already created beforehand. Um, I didn't show that step. It's pretty simple. If you guys need to learn how to do that, let me know, and I'll do that in a future tutorial. But make sure you have a PS2 memory card created. Otherwise, you can't save your PS2 games. Save games. So press the PS button. Okay. This looks very good. Here we see the game is it's working. And it's loading. Excellent. So I'm going to quit the game. Quit the game? Yes. And then you only have to do that for the very first time. You just got to sync it. After you're done syncing, go ahead, disconnect your PS2, uh, sorry, your PS3 cable, USB cable. So now we're just regular Bluetooth here. And let the PS3 restart back into the main screen here. Okay, great. Now let's do that one more time, guys, and let's have a lot of fun here. Webman Games, PS2, Classic Launcher, Classic Launcher. No USB cable. I'm going to show you proof that, yeah, this works wirelessly. You know it's working right if you see the one LED on. So it restarted. We're almost there. Oh yeah, you see that guys? Single LED. That's fucking badass. Let's play. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you real quick of the gameplay footage. How smooth it is. Like I said, I have a fat PS3. I uh, downgraded myself using E3 Flasher. If you want to learn how to downgrade, by all means see the PS3 tutorial series. Alright, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to show you guys how this works. And hopefully you too can uh, rip your own games and have a lot of good times here, you know? All right, so let's go ahead. And the performance is great. I mean, it's like playing a PS2 on your PS3, but with a wireless Bluetooth controller. What more could you ask for? Oh yeah, it's all smooth, no lag issues, nothing like that. It's awesome. All right, so I'm going to quit the game and go back to the main menu. But that is today's video tutorial. I assure you guys, this is probably like the longest tutorial on YouTube dedicated to this topic. I think it's well worth it. I don't want to remake this video, of course. And uh, if you guys have any more tips or questions, I'm going to answer them in the YouTube comments for like a long, long time, as long as I can do it, of course. So that is today's video game tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.